All right, where is he? I haven't heard from him in a few days. Where is he? What is he planning? I'm getting anxiety from this evil voice guy. If you're gonna do something, do it now! Oh jeez, my eye itches. Ah, that's better. <gasps> what the heck? So that was his plan. But it's not gonna work this time. I mean, you can make a walkthrough on Pikmin 2 because the underground areas are pretty much randomly generated. And thus, I can't really tell people where to go if there isn't really a set path to go. Well, I guess that's that. What the? How does he keep doing this? Huh. I never thought of it that way. To the cameras! Hello everyone and welcome to my walkthrough of Pikmin 2 for the Nintendo GameCube. There is a new play control version of this game on the Nintendo Wii, but, but uh, well, I don't have it. <laughs> but don't worry, don't worry, this game will help you regardless of which version of Pikmin 2 you have. Anyway, I'd like to introduce myself, I am PK Gam, and we'll be commentating all these parts. If you don't like commentary, well, probably should find a different walkthrough, you know, without commentary and... <laughs> I know, alright, let's get the game started! Hakatate Freight is a long-haul deep space shipping company with a business card. One day, it's only employee of any merit, Captain Olimar, Oh! Crashed on an uncharted planet while on an interstellar vacation. There he was aided by indigenous creatures which he called Pikmin. In the end, Captain Olimar escaped by putting his ship back together. <laughs> but in Olimar's absence, his employer, Hakatate Freight, ran into financial difficulties. Yeah, that seems to happen a lot in this economy. <laughs> And thus we resume to the present. This is Captain Olivar. Obviously, by the text blurb on the screen. This is Planet Hakatate. Obviously, by the text. No, I'm not gonna do that again. <laughs> and wow, that, that's some uh, rundown company there. Even its sign is a little. Ooh. President is on the left, Louis is on the right. And how are they able to stand so close to the exhaust there? That's gotta be really hot. At least I think it would be. No, oh, forget about it. Olimar, I'm so glad you're safe. Yes, very glad. Quite glad, but... Uh, sadly, I have an announcement that is not so glad. Our company is going under. Yes, we're finished. On his first mission, Louis here met a ravenous space bunny. And his entire load of golden pick pick grand carrots was eaten. <laughs> She's acting it out. I took out an enormous loan to repay the debt from its loss. I decided to sell off corporate assets to repay the loan. Um. Hmm. Go, oh, wait, 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 Not my ship! No! I just put it back together! But the only asset we had to sell was your ship, the SS Dolphin. As for the rest of our loan... Oh, oh, that's kind of a big number. We have no means to repay it. He's stunned. So stunned that he dropped his bottle cap. Hmm. Olimar, what is that? Hmm? You bought that back as a souvenir for your kid? Those eyes are pretty creepy. <laughs> treasure, treasure, treasure! Money, 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 money! Hmm? Well... Maybe it could help pay back the debt. How much could a bottle cap be, though? Investigating valuation of recovered treasure? This artifact is worth... 100 pokos! Wow! This thing's worth 100 pokos. That's more than a year's salary! Woo! That's... Wow! Who knew a bottle cap could be... Maybe it's a collector. What? There are more on that planet. They can replay our debt! Louie, you dolt! Look alive! You must depart immediately! 
with Captain Olimar. Well, looks like we're going back to the planet we were stranded on. <laughs> Just how things go, I suppose. Yes, the planet of the Pikmin. Woo! Ah, I'm so glad he dodged a meteor that time. Maybe he's learned from his mistakes, you know, to watch where he's going. Valley of Repose is the very first area of the game. And so the game starts right here, right now. Why is he flying so low through those trees? Why? No, no, no freaking... No, Alamar! No, no, ah! Nope. He hasn't learned a single thing. And there goes Louie. Well, at least the ship is intact this time. That's a good thing. Kind of. We got separated, but still, at least we can get off the planet. Uh, that was close. I averted a crash landing. R running diagnostics. Alert! Danger! Louie is missing. He must have somehow fallen out of his cockpit. He is not responding via his communicator. He is either floating protocol or in danger. Alar, you must find Louis before he freezes to death in the cold of this planet. Wait a moment. Look! Huh? Huh? Ah! Fight's going on over there! And these be Pikmin? They look like they're about to be devoured as they speak. You must help them. Quickly! Press B to call them with your whistle, Captain Olimar. You can also hold B to make the sound of your whistle carry farther. Remember? Ah, yes, I do remember that. So I'm just going to press and hold that B button here and maybe get a little closer so I get all of them. There we go. Yeah! Woo! The Pikmin ran to your side. They seem to remember you, Captain Alomar. How oh, fascinating! Give them instructions and do not delay. Hold day to grab a Pikmin and release to throw it. Yep, this is like a tutorial area of sorts. Don't worry about losing Pikmin here, watch us. Pikmin cannot die to being eaten no matter what over here. Just look at this, watch us. It's gonna try and eat it. Nope, it's never ever going to be able to eat it. <laughs> anyway, if you wanna defeat it faster than just, you know, let them, letting them whack it like that, just throw Pikmin on top of it and it'll automatically kill this red bulborb here. Yeah, red dwarf bulborb, I should say. And there we go. So, if you take a look around here, you're going to notice that you are kind of stuck. Attention, Captain Almar. I have just recently established my communications link with Louie. It is fortunate we have managed to confirm his safety. Press Y to communicate with him. I'm quite interested in the detail of his condition. Alright. So, and as I was saying, if you look around here, you're going to find that you are pretty much stuck there's no way forward from here you can take a look around and see the sights but for the most part you can't really do much of anything well there is this paper bag here what if we were to say throw some pikmin on top of it and see that number five out of 15 i threw five pikmin on there and it requires 15 pikmin to do whatever it is we need to do here so yeah i'm completely stuck here so why don't i just press the y button and get over to louie now huh Ooh. Mm -hmm. louie allow me to assess your condition as per our safety protocols are you at all injured doesn't look like it. Is that so? And my concerns are eased. Our communication link shows you're nearby. Can you make your way to our location and rejoin us? I will navigate for you. Press start, pause, to contact me, and obtain information about the terrain. In other words, pressing start, you will be able to view a map of the area and take a look around with the control stick and zoom in and out with the C stick. So, yep, 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 yep. But can't really, you know, do anything with, unless we move on the field with the control stick. <laughs> anyway, hey, what's this? Um, hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm? Lily, the odd object before you appears to be one of the onions mentioned in Alomar's report. Oh, how could I have forgotten about these already? Hmm? Hmm? Ah! A seed! What? 
What what does the seed do? Mm. Ah, creepy eyes! The seed the onion ejected just sprouted! According to Olimar's report, it can be plucked with A. Okay, so let's pluck this and see what it is. Oh! It's actually a Pikmin! How could I have forgotten that seeds sprout Pikmin? I'm just so silly and... Okay, forget about it. <laughs> you know I know how to play this game. I'm just joking around here. Louie, this must be one of uh, Pikmin creatures from Alhara's report. And it's staring at you. You can use C to issue objectives to your Pikmin squad and even direct their movement. You know, C stick. You can disband the squad with X. Interesting. Alamar's description of the characters resembling Pikmin carrots were strikingly accurate. Louis, my sensors have detected drool in the corner of your mouth. Are you alright? <laughs> oh, oh. No, 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 cuteness kills! Stop it, no. No, please don't hurt me. Okay, it just likes me. Whew. Okay, I was, I was a little worried for a second there. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, so now we got one Pikmin in our squad, but we're going to need more than just this one Pikmin, I assure you. So, let's start by knocking down these pellet posies, and look at that, look at that. One Pikmin can carry this one red pellet here, and it'll carry it over to the onion, which will do something, as you'll see in this little cutscene here. Oh, 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 more seeds! Woo! Got two seeds for that one pellet. The onion e ejected more seeds. The pellet from that flower must hold nutrients that breed Pikmin. Yes, the Pikmin gather nutrients, haul them to the onion, and further propagate the species. The onion is a Pikmin mothership. If viewing Malamar's report, it seems repeatedly tapping A lets one rapidly pluck Pikmin sprouts. That seems like it would come in handy for sure, so let's start plucking by mashing the A button, and there we go, now we got three of them. Uh, we got a couple of Peliposies up here to take care of, so let's do that, and just use this third Pikmin to get this one right here. By the way, you'll notice when you chuck them to the top of the Peliposie, you automatically knock it down, like, instantly. So it's a little bit faster to knock the Peliposie down from above by throwing it more accurately, but that works good enough. And there we go! Mm-hmm-hmm! <laughs> Oh, by the way, if you want Pikmin to carry stuff, just throw them next to whatever you want them to carry, or C-stick them to whatever you want to carry, and yeah, you'll get the hang of it as you keep playing. Anyway, let's pluck these Pikmin out. There we go. Oh, oh missed the pellet, Posey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And grab it. Good. You can also put another one on there to make it just a little bit faster. Oh, you're... Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> It was like it didn't know what it wanted to do there for a second, like, which side should I carry it on? <laughs> Alright, let's get these two more seeds out of the ground. Well, I should say two more Pikmin out of the ground. And there we go. We are now at 11 Pikmin, and I don't think there's anything more around here, so let's continue on our path over to this very familiar-looking battery. Oh! It's a Duracell battery! Yes, this game has a lot of in-game advertising. <laughs> Perhaps this object is one of the treasures that we are searching for. The only reason we found it here is because this is where you crash-landed. How fortunate. I would like to praise it, but you must regroup with Captain Olimar first. Can you see him? Press L to remove the camera behind you, press R to zoom, and Z to change angles. Another little tutorial thrown in there. So yeah, L button. Let's it follow you from behind. R button. Zoom in, zoom out. Yup, yup, yup. Z button changes the angles. And if you hold the R button, here's a bonus for you. You can change a camera angle so that it's before you, I mean, behind you, excuse me, and low to the ground like that. Anyway, let's throw some Pikmin on this battery here and uh, see what's going on with this thing. They're digging it out of the ground, by the way. It's stuck in the snow. So I guess, no, well, actually, snow isn't ground, but it looks like they're knocking it out of the ground. I mean, look at the, the ground flying in the air there, and but yet, but yet it's in snow, and oh, forget about it. I probably shouldn't question the logic, and uh, wait a second. It requires 20 Pikmin. Well, this isn't enough. Looks like we're going to have to move on, huh? Wait, where's that other one? Oh, there it is. <laughs> it got stuck on the battery there for a second. 
Anyway, let's, uh, now that we have Pikmin on this side, let's try throwing them up to the paper bag on this side and see if that... Oh! Oh ho ho! Woo! Teamwork! Hmm? Message from the mothership! Captain Olimar! Louie, you're united at last. This has been a troublesome start to our ship. Did I say ship? Not trip? Pardon me. <laughs> but now he must feel assured that your combined wits can get you through anything. Correct? From now on, use B to form a single group, X to take solo action, and Y to change leaders. Yeah, X to disband Pikmin also works to disband your other captain. Like, watch us. I'm gonna do that. And you can switch captains like that, and you can also divide team uh, teamwork between them and whatnot. Anyway, I'm gonna carry this back here with the Pikmin. Well, the Pikmin are going to do all the work for me, and uh, oh, looks like I've maxed out on Pikmin here. This is unfortunately going to take a while. <laughs> so I, well, I, I was gonna say I should cut forward, but I don't know. I mean, this is the early part of the walkthrough, and you gotta see how this stuff is kind of like, so let's just follow the Pikmin back to the Onion, shall we? Well, I suppose we could get the Pikmin set up over here, just ahead of time, to speed things along. And I guess I'll leave one captain here. Yeah, you know, just also... Well, I don't know if that'll speed things along at all, actually, because I can't exactly divide and conquer the area with such a low Pikmin squad and whatnot. I don't know, I'm just kind of messing around here. While I wait for this very, very slow squad of Pikmin to make it back to the Onion. Come on! Go! Good lord, go! 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 Okay, I'm just getting impatient here. Ah, Real-time strategy games sometimes have a lot of waiting. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Oh, actually, I should probably have both captains here, come to think of it, because I'd like to show something here when you have both of them together. Uh, it'll take a while for those seeds to sprout anyway, so no big deal that I took a little bit of time there. Watch us. Once you mash the A button like before, both captains will start plucking them together, if, you know, if they're all in the squad. And look at this, we have 20 Pikmin, the exact number we need to get the Duracell battery. And I'm going to use the sea stick here to make it a little bit faster here. Come on, there, there you go. And now, this awesome formation of Pikmin here will take the battery all the way over to the ship. Yep, it's a pretty relaxing first day here. You know, it's just a lot of waiting around, just getting the hang of the controls and whatnot. So, yeah! Anyway, come on. Come on, back to the ship. You can do it. I believe in you. Stretch those legs. You can move faster. I know you can. Well, maybe if you were flowered, you could. Or butted, you could. But no, you're not. I plucked you too early. Yeah, the Pikmin that are in the ground, if you wait for them um, to flower, like if you if you wait to pluck them out of the ground, they will turn to buds and then flowers. And the, the more progress they've had in the ground, the better off they will perform out in the field like this. So if I would have waited a little longer, this could have gone a lot faster. But at the same time, if I would have waited, this probably would have taken even longer because it takes a while for them to flower in the ground and whatnot. So yeah, anyway, they're getting close. They're getting close. They're gonna do it. They're gonna do it. Oh, it's getting there. Oh, yeah, they made it. <laughs> All right, well, you can spin it around with the control pad. I'm mean, control stick, excuse me. Courage reactor. Yeah, all the treasure that you find on the planet is given a name by your mothership here. Yeah. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. Our first day of exploration has yielded our first treasure. We will be done in record time. I took the liberty of naming it when I appraised it. The name reacts my current thinking. <laughs> Leave it to me to think up catchy names for hit products. It is but one of my many talents. <laughs> we shall end our first day here and report back to our president. His face will surely be joyous. However, to communicate with Hakate, we must fly into low orbit above the planet. We will not return to the surface until morning, so as to avoid the indigenous nocturnal creatures. Okay. So let's get off the planet before we're eaten. Ah, the sound. The sound of this cutscene. So familiar. That whistle oh, does something. 
at the end of the day, usually. You'll see later. You'll see later. <laughs> and here we go. First day is complete. Woo! That drawer for that bulb orb there doesn't seem all interested in us, really. <laughs> hey, look at that. The onion is flying with us. Hmm. Let's see the reports. Oh. The courage reactor was worth 280 pokos. And we have propagated 20 Pikmin on the day, which is the maximum amount that you can propagate. Oh, we got some email. You've owned the first bit of treasure. Fine work. Our future depends on your efforts. So check your treasure hoard regularly. And I'll, I'll, I'll check in often. Keep up the pace. All right, let's save our game. And let's check our treasure hoard just for kicks at the end of this part here. So we'll be returned to the map here. Um, we can select the area on the next day. But first, let's go for uh, to the treasures here by pressing the R button. And come on, come on, there we go. The Courage Reactor. We can zoom in on it and check it out. You can pan the camera around. It's kind of kind of blurry, but it's okay. <laughs> And uh, you press X for Olimar's journal. We've recovered our first treasure. Amazingly, the Pikmin remembered how to salvage it. Oh, wait, wait what am I doing? What am I doing? I gotta use the control set. There we go. <laughs> I can't understand their adorable language. I don't know what they're thinking, yet I'm so happy to see them. When I crashed on this planet, the Pikmin helped me locate my missing ship parts. In my darkest hour, the Pikmin were there for me. Now that I'm reunited with them, I know everything will be alright. It will. Right? Man, I sure hope so. Anyway, now I'm going to press R again to go over to the Piclopedia, which will allow us to see stuff that we've seen and defeated and stuff like that. Like here, we got the pellet posy, which I've already introduced you to. We can chuck pick pick carrots at it just because. Yeah! Actually, these pick pick carrots are more for uh, something else. But if you press Y on this one, you'll see Louis's notes. And a quest for the perfect hors d'oeuvres. Slow cook this plant in a wood fire oven. But be careful to only serve the tender pellet. As you can tell, Louis is quite the hungry guy. <laughs> anyway, let's do Alamar's notes now. Pellet posy, amplus, neutral. Pellet weed family. In the stem of the pellet posy, one can observe the muscle fiber, unique to half plant, half animal species such as the Pikmin and candy pop flowers. So the pellet posy is a species that can be considered a close relative. That explains how they can breed, well I should say use the nutrients to breed. Although the ability to crystallize nectar is unique to a small group of the pellet weed family, the fact that these plants are to each maturity so quickly and that their pellets contain such high concentration of the nutri natural nutrients in the soil explains why the Pikmin and so many other indigenous species are so reliant on these pellets for sustenance. Now, Let's go over to the drawer for it, <clears throat> Red Bulb Orb, and start chucking Pick Pick Carrots at it. And you can see the way they attack. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> um, there are other fu functions to the uh, Piclopedia here that I'll show off a little bit later. But anyway, let's do the notes. Uh, for a blissful bisque, mince the entire beast finely and stir in with heavy cream. Artichoke hearts and a pinch of black pepper. Heat slowly until piping hot. Mmm, rich and creamy. <laughs> He already knows how to cook these suckers, I guess. Anyway, Dwarf Fred Bulborb, Pansaurus Pseudocooli, Russus Redbug Family. Although initially identified as a juvenile Red Bulborb, groundbreaking new research indicates that this creature is in fact a member of the Redbug Family. A close res relative of the Vanilla Redbug, it escapes predation through mimicry. Unique adaptation of the Red Bulborb's crim crimson coloration allows the species to safely commingle. Such effective adaptation and obfuscation by prey species is rare. I can't read today, obviously. Indicating this clever creature is a master of mimicry. Now, obviously, I'm not going to go through all the descriptions of these things, because there's a ton of stuff like this in the game to go through. But I will probably go through the more entertaining ones along the way. So, yeah, I'm going to leave these up to you with your copy of the game to read through for yourself and enjoy. Anyway, let's go back to the area selection screen and start the next day. In the next part! I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then.